I just got back from my vacation and right now I am ready to destroy the markets. <laughs> Before we go to the charts, I have a very important announcement to make. We have just launched our Discord server, guys. Our Discord server is here. It's finally here. So right here, this is the official Discord server for the Trading Tribe. So you can see there is a lot of stuff in this Discord server. I literally show you like a free beginner course inside this Discord server. I literally show you like the steps, the steps guide that you should take to become a successful trader. So literally, there's like valuable information inside this Discord server. And not only do we have valuable information, we have our tribe members trying to get them to know each other. Our tribe is getting stronger and stronger every single day so if you want to join the tribe click in the link in my bio the point of this discord server is so that we can keep each other accountable so that we can all level up to become profitable traders together as a tribe so if you want to be part of our tribe and part of our movement go to the link in the description right now and click on the one that says join the discord server okay now let's get back to the charts so in this unfiltered trading episode i just wanted to show you like how i personally trade how i analyze my different currency pairs so right now i am not in any single trade right now so right now what i want to do is to prepare myself to spot any trading opportunities. So what I'm gonna do is to, I'm gonna go through my watch list, like the currency pairs in my watch list and analyze each one of them just to show you guys how I personally analyze my currency charts. So let's start off with maybe like the AUD USD. So we see AU has just been heading in a beautiful downtrend, right? But I can draw like a little supply and demand zone like somewhere right around here. There's like a little supply. I mean a demand zone somewhere right around here and you can see price is just broken past it come back up to retest it and head back down. But at this point of time, I am not going to be entering for a buy here yet or enter for a sell here yet. I'm just going to be like chill and just waiting for price to give me more confirmation, more opportunity. Because at this point of time, there is just like nothing there for me. You know, there's nothing. There's no, no momentum, no volume that show me that price is going to go down even further or head back up. But chances are, Right now, I do think that this is like a little fake out to fake out all the retail traders. I kind of think that like price is going to go up like this, right? But we still have to wait to see. Remember, you don't want to assume what the market is going to do. The last thing you want to do is to assume that the market is going to go where you want it to go, all right? The market can go anywhere it wants. It does not care about your opinion. The sooner you understand that, the faster you will become profitable. Is it getting dark in here? Let me just change the light. Hold up. Right there, boys. Do I look fresh, boys? Ooh, and I can also draw my supply zone right around this area. So if I start seeing price like coming back up like this to create like structure coming down retest like this, right? I'll already be entering for a buy right here, take profit all the way up at, at this like supply zone right here. And right now I do feel like the market is quite overextended. You can see like price has just been going down and going down and it's kind of like starting to lose momentum somewhere right around here. You can see it's, it's, it's like it's, it's like starting to lose momentum because like this is a very strong key level, right? So right now we still wait and see. And as you can see, like I said, this is a very strong key level because if you look towards the left, the last time price was all the way down here, it always just got pushed back up. So you can see this is clear as day, a very strong demand zone that price seems to be respecting one times, two times, three times. So right now, I'm not really expecting price to really break past it. And this just seems like a little fake out to me. So that is why I'm probably gonna be looking to buy somewhere around this area, but we still wait and see. Next currency pair, let's look at GJ. Oh, GJ has been crazy. It has broken out of the consolidation. Right here, you can see price has just been making a huge ass consolidation. It has just been like going sideways, not really going anywhere. And also you see all the way back here, it just been like consolidating around this area. And you can draw like a little supply zone somewhere right around here. Supply zone right around here. Yeah, right around here. This this entire area is a supply zone. As you can see, price went back up here and just shot back down. So you can clear as day, see that supply and demand works, guys. And right now, where is your demand zone? There is a very clear demand zone right around this area here right around this area here. The reason why I marked up here is because look at this huge up move right here. It literally went up and gave us multiple green momentum candlesticks. So clear as day, this is your little demand zone. So I'm waiting for price to come back down to this area right here before deciding what I'm gonna do. But right now you can see price is in the middle of nowhere. And when price is in the middle of nowhere, remember, do not trade. 
Be patient, wait for price to get to a key level so that you can have additional confluence. So right now, price in the middle of nowhere, I'm staying out of this market as simple as that. So once again, I still have to wait to see what price is gonna do next. Right now, price is just consolidating. So if you go to the 15 minute time frame, you can see price is just consolidating around this entire area right here. So right now, we still wait to see like if price go back up like this, or is it gonna come back down to our demand zone, our baby demand zone? So we still wait and see right now, just stay out of the market. Next, GBP USD. Okay, GBP USD is a very special lady. You can see she's a very special lady. Look at her, like she's like at this little demand zone right around this area here. And price is currently showing us that that is a momentum shift, right? That is a little momentum shift. I might be entering for a buy somewhere right around here. You can see price has just been going down going down, going down, going down. But then at this point of time, you can start saying like price gave us a doji candlestick at this key level. So this is like a little indecision, you know what I mean? It's like a little indecision that tell us that, you know what, this, this little downtrend is probably not going to last. It's probably not gonna break past this area and go down, right? So price might pull back just a little bit or something, or even all the way up to this little area right here. Yeah, so price is gonna pull back, but right now, once again, guys, I am a very patient man. I think trading is all about being patient. When there is no opportunity, I'm not gonna be taking trades. I'm not gonna be forcing any trades. I'm just gonna be very patient and wait for my perfect setups to form on the charts. And then I will, you know what I mean? Yup, so right now, even though price gave me like a little, what's this morning star candlestick pattern right around this area, I'm still not gonna be taking this trade. I wanna wait for price to kinda confirm to me that this level is gonna hold. Maybe price can go up here and then come back down to retest this level again to form a double bottom and then head back up. Then that is when, okay, you know what? I'm gonna be entering for a buy. I'm not gonna be entering, I'm waiting for some sort of momentum to come into this market to either push the price up or push the price down. That is when I will enter for the trade. I know what you're thinking right now. You're probably sick of me saying like, just wait, just wait, don't trade, don't trade, don't trade, stay out of the market, right? Right, that is the problem here. A lot of you guys are trying to trade every single day. For me, I do not want to trade every single day. I do not have the time to trade every single day. I want to enjoy my life. So I'm more of a mix between intraday and swing trader. Just like I said, I'm no longer a scalper, so I'm not looking to trade every single day. But if I'm a scalper, there will be so many opportunities right around this area here. Like all these currency pairs that I just showed you, I will have entered for a buy, like maybe somewhere right around here, or enter for a buy somewhere right around here or something just for a quick scalp. But I'm not a scalper, I'm more of an intraday trader. So I kind of want to see like what's the overall trend so that I can trade with the trend and stuff like this. Yup, so right now GU is just consolidating around this area here, another resistance area right here. And yeah, like price is just bouncing off this consolidation around here. Let's go look at EURUSD. And EURUSD has been really, really tricky for the past few months. Because right now, price is literally at the $1 flat. Like somewhere right around here, the $1 flat. So that means that one euro is equal to one United States dollar. That is big news. That is like huge news. Because the last time price was all the way down at this, this low right here, it's literally like 10 years ago or something. Look at this. Like it's literally... 10 years ago, all the way back here. This was the last time that EURUSD was all the way at this low, that is crazy. So obviously the market is like quite indecisive on whether it should go back down even further or start pulling back and go up a little bit. That's why price has just been consolidating at this key level right around here. Not going anywhere, just going sideways. Right now, what I'm seeing is that like, I don't really think that price is gonna break past the $1 flat area because like, there is just not much momentum at this area. You can see price is giving us so many long week dojis at around this area. Price really does not want to break this $1 flat area, right? I'm pretty sure like Euro is not gonna be happy about this. I mean Europe, sorry. At this point of time, I hate to say it, but there is really no trading opportunities here for me. So I will really still have to see what happened over the next few days. And I think Euro USD is probably gonna be like in this consolidation for quite a while, but like I said, I'm the type of guy that will adapt to what the market is doing. So if the market wants to push EURUSD down even further, by all means, go ahead. I'm going to be shorting that shit if that happens. But if this support area or demand zone, whatever you like to call it, is going to hold and price is going to shoot back up, I'm going to be buying a shit ton of EURUSD, baby. 
Okay, the last currency pair that we're gonna go through is gold. All right, gold, gold, I love you, gold. So I can draw like a little uh, supply zone right there. Mm, demand zone somewhere right around here. Once again, price is just broken past the demand zone, just like what I did for AUD USD. But right now, we do not want to enter for a buy here yet. Right, so right now, we still wait to see what price is doing. And by the looks of it, I can just see like price making very nice structure. It has just been like a very nice downtrend. And honestly, like I'm quite biased to gold. That's why I am like giving gold like a detailed explanation compared to the other currency pair. Yeah, but I can see like price has just been in a huge downtrend. Gold has been a huge dump, man. Like this is crazy because I remember last year when I was trading gold, gold was like skyrocketing thing to the moon, man. Like see right here. This was like when I was starting to like focus, really focus on gold only, like it, it literally trade gold only for like six months, which was crazy. And there was this insane bull run. And right now the entire sentiment has shifted. And right now price went from bullish to bearish just like this. And right now you, you can pretty much just see that gold is at this like very, very strong support level. You can see whenever price come back down here, it always bounce back up one, two, three three times four times right here you can see this is a very strong demand zone this is the area where all like the big banks the institution traders smart money whatever they are buying at this area so why did price push all the way down here breaking past the demand zone this is so that they can trick all the retail traders all the retail traders, they see price breaking through this major support level. They think that price is going to go down a lot. Then they immediately enter for a sell. And then after they enter for a sell, price just go back up. And they end up just like, what the fuck is going on, man? Right now, I do think that this is a fake out. I do think that like price is going to go back up. But that will depend on like the upcoming news that is coming out for USD. If USD is bearish, guess what? Gold is gonna go up. USD is bullish, USD, I mean, gold is gonna go down, right? Remember, gold is like inversely correlated with the US dollar. So honestly, right now, I'm definitely gonna be looking to buy gold, but I just wanna see what the smart money is gonna do first. Like, is he gonna dump this gold? If it's dumping gold, gold is gonna like shoot down to maybe like all the way down here, like a huge level right here, yeah, at this area right here. Gold is gonna go to one point. 600 1600 right that is the next level gold is gonna go if smart money decide to dump gold so we still have to see what price does i'm a very patient man i'm a very professional guy so we still have to see the me two years ago would definitely enter for a buy right here even though there's no confirmation at all because i was just trading on impulse trading on what i think the market is gonna do and end up i had to learn the lesson the hard way that you never ever know what the market is gonna do all you have to do is to wait to see what price is showing you, then you react from there. But you can never ever assume that the market is gonna go up or down, no matter how confident you are. Welcome to the tribe, and remember, you're just one trade away. <laughs>